All right, what's going on guys? So, welcome to episode seven of the E36 M3 Drift Car Project. This one is basically a culmination episode of a ton of work that you've seen going to the car so far. So in here in just a second, we're actually gonna jump to the past where some very exciting things happened on this thing. But before we do that, I just wanna show you what I've done in the car off camera um, so that you kinda know where it's at and so that you're up to date on what's going on. So some cool stuff. As you can see, we now have a cooling fan. So I went ahead and installed a brand new fan clutch, a brand new um, clutch fan. Um, this expansion tank was already relatively new on the car. It's a male expansion tank. We got a CSF radiator that was already in the car. So obviously I, I did the entire cooling system, right? So I also did a Stuart water pump, which you're not gonna be able to see, but it's a brand new Stuart high performance water pump off camera. I also replaced the crankcase vent and the crankcase vent hose. And now if you're wondering what this piece is right here and why there's zip ties on that, let me zoom in a little right there. So with the M50 manifold, the crankcase vent hose is actually not long enough stock, so you have to extend it. And it, it, this is a Turner Motorsports kit and it comes with a little piece extension in here, but I'm overkill and I didn't want it to leak, so I added some really nice thick heat shrink to it. Um, some zip ties as well here to provide even more clamping force and like this is like one piece This is not gonna leak and it didn't leak. So Let's see what else I got a brand new air filter on here because the old one was collapsed and completely ruined um, I cleaned up the whole intake system. Everything is now more straight and more neat um, As you can see everything is super clean um, the last thing I'll point out is these zip ties right here so the CSF radiator these are actually kind of a bit more open than the factory brackets. And so the little stock clamp things actually don't hold the radiator back far enough. And what will actually happen is the radiator will move enough to where the shroud will actually come in contact with the fan. And if you've ever seen that, that is goodbye to your hood, that's goodbye to the radiator, it's goodbye to your air conditioning. It's really bad when the fan explodes. So obviously didn't want that to happen. It's an obviously you saw that the subframe is back in the car, so you can probably imagine what occurred. So let's take a little blast to the past and uh, see what went down. So before we actually get into the M3, I just wanted to mention one more thing. I am actually driving this car to Riverside Chattanooga here in one week, so that's gonna be April 2nd. That's the Saturday, but I'll also be there Friday and Sunday, at least for a little bit. And um, you're gonna see a couple videos on this thing in the channel here in the next few days. Um, I'm gonna be getting this thing ready. I have kind of just a short list of things I wanna go through. This thing is really, really in great shape, so it just kinda of needs some checks to make sure it's ready for a long drive. But uh, yeah, so if you saw this in the background with the hood up, just know she's coming back to the channel very soon. I know a lot of you guys are really wanting to see some new content on this thing. You guys probably wanna know what's going on with the wheels and what that whole situation's like. And, when this thing is finally gonna go back to being a stance car like I want it to be, now that I've got this to be my function car. We'll talk about that soon. Um, that's all coming very soon. Like I said, I own six Workmeisters for this thing right now, and only two of them match, so I've had some bad luck, and it seems like every single freaking thing I try to do for this thing to get it on its new setup is just like some big roadblock, so just know I'm working on it, but just wanted to mention that. Please come find me if you're gonna be at Riverside, and uh, yeah. So now, let's actually get to the M3 and I'll show you guys what happened a couple days ago. So, hope you guys enjoy. So for some reason, every single one of these spark plugs smelled just so strongly like gas, like crazy strong. But that doesn't really matter because the whole time I was doing this, I was realizing this was the last job I had to do before I was going to get to hear my M3 run for real, for the very first time since I bought the car. So here's how this is gonna go down. My mom is gonna be in the car. That way I can be out here if anything needs addressing and we can kinda tag team this together. But to begin with, I'm gonna be watching in here. So it's not gonna start right now. The interior lights, yeah. Keep on the door. All right. Clutch in. Do it again. 
Keep going, keep going. Keep going. All right, let off. <laughs> okay, give the starter a rest for a second. Okay, if anybody's watching, I have the fuel pump fuse pulled. All right, hit it again. All right, let off. Let's do that about three more times. So give it a crank for five seconds. Because the battery's not getting low, I can tell. All right, do it one more time. And then we'll put the fuel pump fuse and we'll fire it right up. Go for it. It's gonna, it won't start immediately, but it will start. How are you feeling? I'm nervous, so this isn't good. Okay. All right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Yes! 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 Woo! <laughs> yes! Oh, it went right off. We had instant oil pressure. It sounds so good. It is running great. Is it not? Yes! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. What? Yeah. Just, it's, she's just doing, she's doing her thing. She's doing her thing. She's fine. Gotta love it. You guys hear that lifter? <laughs> you hear the lifter tick? Gotta love S52s. <laughs> oh man. I don't know, that might be injectors to be honest. Uh no, nah, that's that's lifters. <laughs> that's lifters all day. High mileage engine. So as the car began to move up to operating temperature, I went ahead and went through the process of bleeding the cooling system. I bled the power steering system the best that I possibly could without knuckles on the car. And then once that was done, it was time for me to hear my first time ever hearing this thing actually rev. Like, it makes some, makes some cool S52 noises, bro. All right, go for it. Give me one more. One more. I love it. One more. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, it sounds so good. It sounds better than that one. It does sound better than that one. Oh my gosh. So I just want to point out, I revved it for real and listen to the lifter tick. It's gone. One more time, one more time. Did it just spit a flame? No flame, but it but a pop. Oh. I haven't gotten to appreciate it yet. You know what I mean? Like I got it and it was to like put it home because this thing's in bad shape, but now it's like it's like real. I own my dream car. I'm gonna cry. I don't wanna cry. It's I can't believe I own one of these. I'm trying not to cry. I should probably check the cooler. Oh, it's so cool. Check the, check the temperature. 